Hello friends, welcome to DDR Academy. Today I am discussing the question paper that is the staff nurse examination conducted in Sri Chitra Tirunal Institute for Medical Science and Technology, Trivandrum. The written test for the post of staff nurse. So this date, the exam date was 15-11-2015. So the exam was conducted in 2015 and that question paper is what I am discussing now. And the total duration of this exam was 90 minutes and the total marks was out of 80. So there are total 80 questions. So the instructions given to the candidates were they have to write their roll number on the top of the question booklet and also in the OMR sheet. Then each question carries one mark. So there are total of 80 questions and there will be no negative marking. Then darken only the bubble corresponding to the most appropriate answer. Then marking more than one answer will invalidate the answer and also candidate should sign in the question paper and OMR sheet and the candidate should hand over the question paper and OMR sheet to the invigilator before leaving the examination hall. So these were the instructions given to the candidate. So from this we understood that only uh, one mark, each question is carrying one mark and there will be no negative marking and we have to bubble correctly to the appropriate answer and we should not bubble more than one answer that will be considered as invalidate. Now uh, when we discuss the questions the first question is the hierarchy of human needs where nurses prioritize basic physiological needs is identified by options Sigmund Freud, Kubler-Ross, Eric Erikson, Abraham Maslow. So here the correct answer, the hierarchy of human needs where nurses prioritize the basic physiological needs is identified by, correct answer is option D. So option D is the correct answer, Abraham Maslow. The hierarchy of human needs where nurses prioritize the basic physiological needs is identified by, Abraham Maslow is the right answer. Now we will move on to the second question. The most reliable index of the cerebral status is? Options are pupillary responses, response to pain, level of consciousness, deep tendon reflex. The question is most reliable index of the cerebral status. So here the right answer is option C that is level of consciousness. The most uh, reliable index of the cerebral status is level of consciousness. Now the third question. Which of the following is a water soluble vitamin? Which of the following is a water soluble vitamin? Options are vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D and vitamin K. So in this question the correct answer the water soluble vitamin is option B that is vitamin C. So this is the right answer the water soluble vitamin is vitamin C. Then the fourth question you have a stock solution of 20%. To prepare 1 liter of 5% solution, how much diluent will be added? Options are 100 ml, 150 ml, 200 ml and 250 ml. So here the right answer is option D, 250 ml. The right answer is option D, 250 ml. The next question is, the antidote to heparin is, options calcium gluconate, vitamin K, protamine sulfate, atropine. Antidote to heparin, right answer is, Option C, protamine sulfate. So right answer is option C, protamine sulfate is the antidote to heparin. Then the sixth question, for a comatose patient, the highest priority nursing diagnosis is? Options are altered sensorium, ineffective airway clearance, impaired physical mobility, altered nutrition. For a comatose patient, the highest priority nursing diagnosis Correct answer is ineffective airway clearance. Option B is the correct answer. Ineffective airway clearance. For a comatose patient, the highest priority nursing diagnosis is ineffective airway clearance. Then question number 7. In a patient with decorticate posturing, the nurse observes. Options are flexion of elbows, extension of knees and plantar flexion of feet. Flexion of upper and lower extremities, extension of upper and lower extremities, extension of elbows and knees and flexion of wrist. So in a patient with decorticate posturing. So the correct answer is option A that is flexion of elbows, extension of knees and plantar flexion of feet. 
then the next question the normal central venous pressure reading is between the normal cvp reading is between options 0 to 5 cm 5 to 10 cm 10 to 15 cm 15 to 20 cm the normal central venous pressure right answer is option b 5 to 10 cm the normal central venous pressure is 5 to 10 cm then the next question is a patient with congestive cardiac failure experiences dyspnea due to options are accumulation of fluid in the interstitial spaces and alveoli of lungs bronchial secretions and spasm pulmonary embolism pulmonary congestion resulting from cardiomegaly a patient with cardiac failure congestive cardiac failure experiences dyspnea due to the correct answer is option a that is accumulation of fluid in the interstitial spaces and alveoli of lungs a patient with congestive cardiac failure experiences dyspnea due to accumulation of fluid in the interstitial spaces and alveoli of lungs next question a client on anticoagulant therapy is specifically monitored for options are nausea chest pain insomnia hematuria a client on anticoagulant therapy is specifically monitored for the correct answer is option d hematuria a client on anticoagulant therapy is specifically monitored for hematuria the next question the nurse who observes 11th question and the nurse who observes projectile vomiting in a newborn suspects tracheoesophageal fistula hirschsprung's disease congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis congenital heart disease and the nurse who observes projectile vomiting in a newborn suspects the right answer is option c congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis is the right answer projectile vomiting is seen in newborn in case of congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis 12th question a person with diabetes mellitus is asking you the calories obtained from 1 teaspoon of sugar your answer would be option a uh, options 5 option b 15 option c 20 and option d is 60 the, uh, num the how much calories is obtained from 1 teaspoon of sugar so the correct answer is option c 20 20 calories will be obtained from 1 teaspoon of sugar so right answer is option c then the 13th question which of the following food items are rich sources of vitamin a green leafy vegetables and yellow fruits rice and potatoes green gram and dal milk and milk products food items that are rich in vitamin a correct answer is option a that is green leafy vegetables and yellow fruits green leafy vegetables and yellow fruits is the right answer then question number 14 the urinary output of a client for 24 hours was 350 ml the nurse has documented the observation as options anuria polyuria dysuria oliguria the urinary output of a client for 24 hours was 350 ml so here the correct answer is option d oliguria option d is the right answer oliguria is the right answer then the next question 15th question which one of the following terms indicate increase in the size of cells without increase in the number of cells which one of the following terms increase uh, indicates increase in size of cells without increase in the number of cells options are hyperplasia hypertrophy dysplasia atrophy the correct answer is option b hypertrophy Hy hypertrophy means increase in size of cells without increase in the number of cells so correct answer is option b then the uh, 16th question when the client can breathe only in upright position it is termed as orthopnea dyspnea tachypnea apnea when the client can breathe only in upright position the correct answer is option a orthopnea the correct answer is orthopnea then the next question a client with hypoventilation is prone to develop metabolic acidosis respiratory acidosis respiratory alkalosis metabolic alkalosis a client with hypoventilation is prone to develop 
the correct answer is option b respiratory acidosis correct answer is option b respiratory acidosis then 18th question a client after pneumonectomy will be positioned on supine position only supine and either sides operated side or back unoperated side or back so here the correct answer the client after pneumonectomy will be positioned on operated side or back the client after pneumonectomy will be positioned on operated side or back so the correct answer is option c next question when periods of hyperapnea alternate with periods of apnea the breathing pattern is termed as kusmol's respiration chain stocks respiration bradypnea tachypnea so the when periods of hyperapnea alternate with period of apnea that is known as chain stocks respiration that type of breathing pattern is chain stock respiration so correct answer is option b then question number 20 a client who is sent home with an ileostomy requires daily sorry requires dietary supplementation with options are fiber sodium potassium vitamin b12 a client who is sent home with an ileostomy requires what type of dietary supplementation correct answer is option c potassium in ileostomy patients uh, the dietary supplementation required is potassium so i am i have discussed 20 questions from this question paper so thank you thank you for watching this video and i will be uploading the remaining questions in the upcoming videos